Welcome to Sherry TV. Happy winter. We needed a change of scenery today, so we came out to our local state park and we're hanging out by the lake. And today we're gonna do a fun, casual, chatty vlog with you. Some of you may already know that we have very recently renamed and rebranded this channel from Cruise Gear to Sherry TV. We did that because we felt like it was time for a change. We wanted to have more options of different things that we can do on this channel and not talk all about just cruise gear. We're still going to talk about cruise gear, fashion, beauty, unboxings, but we're also gonna be moving into some new territory as you guide us and let us know what you like. So first, before we get into all the fun questions I got for today's chatty vlog, I wanna tell you, if this goes well, our next chatty vlog is gonna feature all of your questions from here on YouTube. So leave your questions down in the comments of this video and we'll be sure to get to them. They can be about anything, about us, about beauty, about lifestyle stuff, fashion, motivation, the new year. What is it that you wanna hear? You're gonna find a lot of those things today. But welcome and thank you so much to those of you who are new. Hello, I'm Sherry. <laughs> it's great to meet you. And we're gonna answer some questions from our community today. The first one is from Ada who says, how do you keep your spirits up among those in your household, your employees, your spouse and yourself? Oh, isn't that the question of the hour? Because we've been in this pandemic for 10 months. It feels like it's never gonna end. My nose is a little bit itchy. <laughs> Sorry about that. And it's not easy. We have had to adjust our coping strategies in our household quite a bit. And on our podcast, Cruise Tips TV Unplugged, we were just talking about a couple of strategies that work really well for us with keeping our spirits up in our family. Um, one of the things we do when things start to get really tough is when my husband and I are having a discussion, we'll ask each other, what's the worst thing that can happen in this situation? And then we'll work from there. That way we're not wallowing in all of the possibilities of something that's going wrong. Another thing that we do to keep our spirits up is we take action. Whenever we're dealing with a problem, we always say, okay, what can we do today to move towards a solution? But one of the best strategies for keeping our spirits up is this right here, getting outside. Um, one of these hashtags I've seen floating around this year is breathe your biome. Have you guys heard that one? Breathe your biome. So maybe chilly where you live. We're fortunate, we live in California. It's sunny and beautiful today, but I encourage you to breathe your biome whatever, wherever it is that you live. Behave like a Minnesotan as they say, right? Like in Minnesota, you know, people just go out and they do outdoor activities even when it's snowing and crazy cold. Behave like a Minnesotan, breathe your biome, that's what we do. With work, uh, it's definitely, I think what we do at work is we do the same thing. We face problems as they come on. We don't sugarcoat things, but we try to have fun. We hold virtual happy hours with mocktails. We play little games with one another on, you know, on video when we can, and we just do what we can to keep our spirits up. I also like to send thank yous to my employees whenever I can, whether it's by email or text or snail mail, send them a little card in the mail really helps out. So Ada, thank you for that wonderful question. Ada also says, what is it like living in California at this moment? Well, Ada is referring to the fact that we are on massive lockdown in California. Everything's been closed for a long time and we have been on a virtual roller coaster for 10, 11 months now. Ada, the answer is it's really, really tough, um, especially because where we live, the virus isn't bad, but the whole state is essentially completely locked down because our emergency rooms have sort of been taken out by all of this. So we have to be really careful and we have to stay home. I think what's difficult is that it feels like Groundhog Day and it just never gets better. All of these measures, nothing seems to be improving things. So that's been very, very difficult. So we're doing what we can to try to adjust, cooking great recipes at home, getting out. We bought a national park pass or a state park pass to try to get out of our home a little bit more, but it is really, really difficult to live in California right now. It feels like it'll never get better but of course we know that it will. Ada also says, any general tips for remote and digital learning as the lockdowns intensify? 
it's hard because every child is really different. We have a 12 year old little boy. What works for him is a schedule. So he does a different subject every day and that works for him. In the past, he was doing his hardest subject on Monday. So he would tackle math on Mondays and then he'd break it down. That has worked for him. Getting all the school done and then having his afternoons and evenings free has been our best strategy and doing virtual fun things with friends wherever he can. All right, so awesome questions, Ada. I loved that, I loved it. Um, Ada says also, Ada, I know I have, you have a lot of good ones, but we're getting to everybody's questions today. One or two organization or cleaning or cooking or outside projects that you're hoping to do? Yes, working on a closet purge, I did a massive one. We're talking four garbage bags donated best thing I could have done for my mental health to get things out of my home. I also got new dishes from Santa this year. I got some new Le Creuset dishes, got rid of all my old stuff, and I'm really, really loving them. As far as an outside project that we're hoping to do, right now I'm just winterizing my garden a little bit. I'm going to lay down some bark and kind of clean things up, but not planting a whole lot because we're in the middle of winter. Let's see here, Team Derica and Christy both asked about my skincare routine. And I thought that was so interesting because it's really one of the things that's changed a lot in my life in the last year. Some of my favorite products right now are Sunday Riley's CEO Glow. It's a facial oil with turmeric in it. Loving it. I'm also loving Elemis products. These are both a bit higher end products, but I'm really trying to get into the premium beauty these days because I wanna take care of my skincare, take care of my skin, Put more emphasis on skincare while I have more time at home. So if you wanna know more about skincare, we're going to be doing live videos on our Amazon channel. So you can actually watch me hold up the products, talk about them. You wanna to go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV because that is our other channel where we do all of the live stuff over on Amazon. And I'm gonna to talk to you about my favorite premium skincare we're gonna do makeup tutorials and we're gonna do a hair routine. And I've got issues with the wind, you guys. My hair keeps getting stuck in my lipstick, so I'm gonna shift my body just a little bit so we can stop that adjusting, because I know it's kind of annoying. Angie says, let's have some tips for looking professional but while being comfortable and in our 40s. Okay, looking professional while being comfortable and in our 40s. I love this, Angie. We're all doing like all the virtual meetings and everything, the video meetings. Our company uses Teams, um, so I've, Two things that I do religiously to help me feel more put together on the top while it's a total party down there, pajama bottoms and Ugg boots and slippers on the bottom, but party up here. And Angie, it is a three strand string of big chunky pearls that make every single live video look really professional. And I have some great scarves that I throw into the mix. Face full of makeup always helps and you need to have to me, looking professional is all about light. So I want a window with light shining in on my face. Or you could get a ring light. I don't use a ring light. I have professional equipment, but I still don't use it for my work meetings, only when I'm filming things. But that's something you could do. Angie, I also have to share with you, I just got some new pants for work. Now I'm working it from home, so like I don't wear my slacks anymore, but they're like yoga pant work pants. They're from a brand called Democracy, and they're called Ab Solution. Get it? Ab Solution. They're like yoga pants that look a little bit professional and they are so cozy. So those are my three kind of tips right now for looking professional, but staying cozy. Um, ooh, I like this one from I Hazelton. Favorite subscription of all. We do a lot of unboxings on this channel. It's really hard for me to tell you guys one single favorite subscription because there's three that I just can't cancel. So I'm gonna tell you the three that I love the best. Number one is my FabFitFun subscription. I have a discount code for you, I'll link to it. Also, I love Ipsy for makeup and skincare. I have Glam Bag Plus, that's the middle level of the three levels. And I love Pyravita bracelets, which I'm wearing right now. Can't quit any of those, but because those subscriptions are all a little bit different, I thought I would just mention them all to you and you could watch our videos to learn a little bit more. Aspen D said, when will you be traveling again? When it's safe, Aspen D. And probably when cruising resumes, maybe sooner, but I think we're gonna kind of hold out for cruising for a little bit. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Our wonderful friend, Denisha said, any land vacays planned? Nothing right now, Denisha. Any staycations? Friday's off is my new stay staycation, Denisha. I like three day weekends. That's gonna be my thing to keep my mental health going, to do things like this, to get outside and breathe my biome and just do what feels natural and healthy. 
Valentine's Day plans. Well, Junior is going to be making Valentine's Day cards for his friends. Other than that, we'll probably just stay home and have a nice dinner. Home projects, kind of already talked about that. Nothing too major, Denisha. Uh, we just got a new kitchen faucet and it's looking great. Just girlfriend stuff. She says, yes, Denisha. And thank you for being my great girlfriend. I love you. I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for the awesome questions. That wraps up this chatty vlog. But I'd really love to hear from you what you guys would like to hear next time. Leave some questions for me here. And let me know what you think about our rebrand. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.